Drop Shadows. Another feature Roblox doesn't support natively. Time to brute force our way again, but with a different technique. Let's start with our frame. Its name is Main. We want Main to cast a shadow. Remember our gradient circle from glow effects? We're gonna slice it again, but not literally. It's gonna be a 9 slice this time. 9 slicing is a technique to resize an asset by keeping corners fixed and stretching everything else. I totally overlooked this approach until a viewer reminded me of it, so thank you MemePak588. As long as the slice scale property is 1, corner radius of the image is the asset's own corner radius, which is the half of its original size. Tweak slice scale to see how the corner radius changes, or apply the simple formula. For simplicity, we will use only two parameters, offset and spread. Shadow size equals main size plus spread. And for position, calculate main position and translate by offset. Keep in mind that size and corner radius calculation should account for stroke thickness if any. If you wish to modify transparency or color, you can go ahead and change image transparency and image color tree properties, as the shadow is just an image label. Let's look at the code. Compared to glow effects, we have a similar math with a couple of tweaks and different parameters, but the module pipeline is the same. Create, initialize, set up for runtime configuration, bind to necessary signals and return the image for later access. It's just another elegant one-liner. The result? You know the result. That was brute force shadows. You can find the place file under the resources section in my discord channel and the model link in the description. Which UI tricks you wanna learn next? Drop a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.